Good afternoon, everyone. This is your favorite MS4 coordinator, Rick Brown. Today, I'm not in any kind of costume, so you're welcome to laugh if you like at my original costume, me. We're going to be talking about some myths and misnomers about MS4. We do realize that there's a lot of myths out there about MS4. And today we will be discussing them and we will be talking about the truisms of those myths. And if you have any questions, contact us, send your comments in, and we will be sure to get you answers. The first myth is that the state takes care of all MS4 items. And the interesting thing about that is that's a misnomer. IDEM in Indiana does have authority. We do work under their permit nationally, but jurisdiction of MS4 is the local MS4 areas themselves. It's not the state does it, it's local MS4 departments like ours, your favorite coordinator. That's what I do. Another myth is that a lot of people think that when they see mud on the roads, when farmers are out in their fields in the springs and etc., that MS4 actually jurisdicts agriculture. Uh, and that's a myth. That's not correct. Uh, agriculture is not covered under MS4 jurisdiction. It is covered by other state agencies that works with agriculture. But agriculture in itself, uh, muddy roads and all that stuff, it's not jurisdictional like contractors are. Agriculture is not. Another myth is that stormwater only runs to local streams. That is a myth. Rain comes down, runs off of roads, runs into creeks, into rivers into larger rivers. No, that's a myth. It's it's in all of our water. Rainwater, stormwater, only runs to wastewater treatment plants. Uh, that's not correct. In cities that have the infrastructure, it does go back to the treatment plants. But in general, that's not the rule. Another myth of many the items that get into stormwater and the chemicals that are in stormwater don't cause problems. Uh, that's incorrect. That's why we have MS spores. Municipal Separated Storm Sewer System is so we can actually filter out the harmful items that are in stormwater. And one of the biggest uh, misnomers is that there's no problems with stormwater and there's nothing we can do to help our stormwater. That is exactly why there are MS4s in every state, by the way, because vehicles, items that run off the roads from rains and stuff, MS4s are responsible to keep that runoff from point A to point B clean when it gets to B, clean when it gets to C, cleaner when it gets to D. So that's what MS4 is really all about is, uh, and take it from your favorite MS4 coordinator, is because we're trying to filter out all the harmful effects that do get into storm water. So again, this is Rick Brown, your favorite MS4 coordinator. Uh, thank you for watching our videos. Uh, please respond with questions, with good remarks. If things you'd like to see us do better or do something for you, please respond to us. We're actually here for you and to keep our storm water clean. And as a little follow-up to that last statement about MS4 doing stuff, when contractors don't do it the right way and don't protect our waters, this is what we pound in the ground. And this is a stop work order. If they work through this, they get a substantial fine. MS4 is protecting our stormwater. Thank you.